Welcome to Abnormal Truth, everyone. Thanks for clicking in. As always, I hope everyone is having the best holidays they've ever had. Uh, I I think, as I said in the title, I think I have found the biggest Mandela effect of the year. And you know, guys, I'm I'm always careful of what I put out. And I only like to put out Mandela effects that are really big or the ones that I find interesting or just when they're on a subject that I know a lot about, it, it, you know, those really important Mandela effects, the ones that are important to me. I put out those kinds of Mandela effects. <sighs> um, you know, it's hard to tell if I've discovered this or not. I guess it doesn't matter, but I just haven't heard anything about this. I have a lot to say on this. I This has uh, given me some insight about uh, a little bit about what's going on here. I will, uh, uh, of course, let you guys in on that. If this information is astounding to you, Please help me share and like and comment on this video so that it gets out there. All right, so let's get into it. Let's go to the interwebs. And this one is for you guys out there, for you, you uh, human, my fellow human beings out there, that remember watching the Queen's Christmas message last year. And being astounded that she said, enjoy your final Christmas. All right. Uh, this was a big deal there. Uh, it was everywhere. You could watch it. She said it on every video. Uh, you could go back and rewind it and watch, a dub, uh, watch it a dozen times. That's what I did. And guess what? As you probably already guessed... She doesn't say that anymore in this reality and never has. At first, I thought this might be some kind of cover-up or censorship. But uh, from the little bit of investigation that I've done, that doesn't look like it's the case. So if I'm wrong here, maybe somebody can find the video of her actually talking about she hopes everybody enjoys their final Christmas. All right now in the uh, current video in this reality she does mention she may have more than one birthday which is weird in itself all right so uh, this is going to take a little bit of time to explain to you but this one has affected me like my first Mandela effect I thought I was immune to the Mandela effects after a year and a half of really studying this. <clears throat> um, I'm, I, I'm, just as, uh, I'm just as perplexed as I was a year and a half ago. So, uh, again, if somebody can find me that video, uh, you know, give me a link. Uh, yeah. It can even be the video in some other YouTuber's uh, video. Now, again, last year, this was a big deal. People were making YouTube videos about this video. They were, they were taking it apart. They were analyzing everything she said. We were all trying to figure out uh, if we could hear anything else in there that would give us some more clues on why she's telling us to enjoy our final Christmas. And uh, this is a Mandela effect, so not all of you are going to remember this. But this has given me more insight to the Mandela effect than any other one. And I want to share that with you guys here shortly. So, as far as I can tell, it's not on any of the videos. I would also like to say back then, you could go to any video... Right, even the British Monarchies channel, you could go there and she said, Enjoy your final Christmas, and it, it was mind blowing. Uh, I was looking this back up because there's supposed to be some kind of wave coming in from space, and I, I just kind of have a funny feeling about this Christmas, which I usually don't. 
uh, really react like that. 2012, I didn't even buy extra toilet paper. All right. I wasn't really worried about it. But um, so, you know, I was I am kind of worried about this Christmas or around this time frame. Uh, and. You know, uh, this is just so mind blowing. So let me show you what I found out in some of the comments on these videos. I'm going to balance Australia's channel. And we're going to read the comments here. No, uh, no need to watch the video. I'm not going to play the entire video for you because you can easily go look at it. But let's take a look at this thread here. So this is just an example. I've read a lot of these. King BB Bear says, "Where does she say it would be our last Christmas? If she did say that, then I need to hear it." Why does why doesn't this video or any other video have it? Doolittle's saying because this is nonsense and psychotic crap. I'm like, okay. Uh, and th these are 11 months ago, okay? 11 months ago, I was watching the video of her saying this. So, uh, that's what I'm leaning towards. The only thing I saw was her speak about the her family bringing back the pagan christmas tree all right uh so i started reading further down a little more intrigued trying to figure out what's going on here because again i thought this was just censorship which i would have even made a video about that but this person major mayhem is saying the original take was quickly canceled and a retake was done Okay, then how did I see the video of her saying that? Okay, that was my first thoughts. Um, this person, Lacey. She's saying, it's said by observers that she said it, but it was cut from the broadcast or that she did a whole nother version of it without saying that. They made her redo it. And I'm like, again... Uh, how come I saw the video then? All right, and so I'm like, ah, this is getting weird. This person's saying that it stems from an article that yournewswire.com put out. So I'm like, that's interesting, because uh, I never did go read an article. You didn't have to. The video was right there to watch. All right, so... Someone else is pointing out the article and we're going to go there because that's where some weird and weird things are going on there and the really the meat of the video. But as you go down, even five months ago, uh, they're still talking about, they're nowhere in the video does the Queen say anything about it being our last Christmas. And I'm like, five months ago, really? Okay, now there are a few posts that are five months ago talking about, I didn't hear anywhere in that speech, enjoy your last Christmas. So we can ca kind of gather that it might have happened five months ago that this changed. I don't know. But let's go to that article. This is at yournewswire.com. And this article was posted on December 25th, 2015. All right, guys, this, I'm talking to the people who remember this as I do. Very hard to forget. No way to mistake this. We all heard over and over and over. I basically studied this video because it's such a strange thing to say. All right. And this, let me tell you something. This article is the only way that most people have ever heard about her saying, I hope you enjoy your final Christmas. I mean, wow. All right, so let me read this because this is kind of weird. Now, this is from a BBC Insider because in this reality, no one got to watch the video except for thus, us that can still remember it. The old way it was. 
and this is in no way a um, a false memory or anything. This was such a big deal. It was only a year ago. That's why this is the biggest Mandela effect of the year. Anyway, I'll, I'll read this part and explain something about it. The Queen dropped a bombshell yesterday while filming her annual Christmas message for the BBC, hinting at deep personal regrets over the murder of Princess Diana, a BBC insider claims. Clearly troubled, the Queen said she knew too much. The Queen asked her subjects to understand that the royal family simply did what was necessary to ensure their own survival. This part was not in the video that I remember. This would have overshadowed anything about her having multiple birthdays, or uh, which is actually on the current video, by the way. That's still in there. <clears throat> and it's like the only weird thing she says now. But this would have over... This is basically saying that she was uh, telling everybody that the royal family murdered Princess Diana. That would have just, you know, that would have overshadowed everything. <sighs> so, let's read this part. Senior BBC production staff and palace advisors scrambled to cancel the take, but not before the Queen expressed dark fears that this will be the last Christmas on Earth because of malevolent forces much stronger than her own are stalking across Europe, gaining ground every day. Uh, I hope you enjoy your final Christmas, she said bitterly. That I do remember. Okay. Uh, before BBC staff, under strict orders from palace advisors, canceled the take... So she said that, and then right after that, evidently, they canceled the take. But not in my reality, because I didn't see any uh, splicing of the video. It seemed like it was all in one take. Um, here's the interesting thing. that Later, uh, they sent everybody on a, um, an early lunch, all the junior staff. Later in the day, the message was redone, and the second take... Was is what everybody's seeing now. So, uh, as you can see, this is a bombshell, guys. I mean, this is very, very big. Because if you're having this Mandela effect, there's just no way you have this wrong. This isn't somebody's name or spelling or anything like that. This is a video many of us last year were pouring over. I never read an article last year on this because you didn't have to. You could go watch the video. But now, in this reality, that seems to keep changing, uh, the only reason why anybody ever heard of that is because of this article. There could have been some other articles, but this is the one I hear that's uh, cited all the time. So uh, let me tell you the insights that this has given me. All right. Uh, I've always thought that this was time travel. There were certain things that get in the way of that. But, and I'll explain that later. But even with the other Mandela effects, you can tell a lot of them are targeted. Somebody picked them. I'm talking about things like the most famous uh, movie lines. You can tell that it was targeted. Uh, and I just had that feeling. And as soon as I heard of the Mandela effect, I thought time travel. This one is so evident that it's targeted that they... Alright, somebody on the planet can go back in time and change history if they want. Here's the weird thing. Not everyone remembers it. And I would say it's only 20 or 30 percent of the people that seem to be able to remember these Mandela effects. Um, that number could fluctuate. 
And so um, what this is telling me is that now it's it's more evident. It's like, yeah, this is targeted. This is something that they would have covered up. And now they have erased it from history, except for this article. But I can no longer find the video on any YouTuber site or anything of her, the actual video and her saying, um, you know, most of those, most of the YouTube channels weren't playing the entire thing, but they would have the part where she said a couple of the weird things. I watched the entire video several times just trying to see if there's any hints in there. And I'm telling you guys, this is very, very, very wild. And it is very telling that this is something that is targeted. It is not a natural thing. Think about it. These are the Mandela effects are not caused by some natural force for sure. This is done by someone or something on the planet. Someone, some group has the ability to do these kind of things. And they're not scrubbing everything out on, on Google. Google probably could have got rid of this somehow. You know, I mean, there's still, uh, there's still YouTube channels talking about this article. But there's no YouTube videos with the video up displaying her saying it. It never happened. I mean, this is this is the biggest Mandela effect of the year. I hope somebody proves me wrong. But uh, from what I'm looking at, you know, maybe I'm overlooking something because I'm in disbelief right now. I mean, uh, you guys, let please let me know in the comments if you had this one and you agree with me. I realize that not everyone would have seen the video, uh, but this was a big deal. There's no mistake in this, and this is pointing towards time travel. Let me, bef before I close the video, let me tell you my theory of why it's still time travel, because some people will go, well, uh, how come the continents are different? You know, it, it probably has to do with uh when they go back in time it could have to do with you know when the earth was forming if you had some uh, some asteroids or whatever hit the planet you know it, it's a it, it's probably a little bit of a random process there and it seems like every time they go back and change something we end up in like a different timeline and that's why the continents keep kind of changing. It's like every time they go back and change something, we end up like in a different, slightly different parallel universe, okay? And only some of us can remember this, and I wish I knew why. I wish if we knew why only certain people had Mandela effects, we would know a lot more about this phenomena. So that is just like my working theory. And from the get-go, this is screamed time travel. Um, and, you know, there's still some things like human anatomy that may not fit, you know, with it. But who knows, maybe our creation has some random parameters in it into, it, into where... You know, our physiology could have changed a little bit too. Doesn't matter. It's just my theory, but that's what I've gathered from this new one. And for sure, it's a targeted thing. You could leave out the time travel theory if you want, but you've got to see that that makes sense. That this was done on purpose. All right, so. I need your help on this one guys share like and comment please for me especially comment and tell me if you've had this if this is blowing your mind just like it's blowing mine and all right guys so as always i will see you soon with another video